Alrighty, welcome back to the coinslot.com walkthrough of Dark Souls 2. We are still in uh, Things Betwixt, and we're going to go from the Things Betwixt bonfire out to Majulo. But before we do that, we're going to go through some of the areas here in Things Betwixt. Alright, <clears throat> we just had a huge discussion regarding sex and character sex, and uh, my sons were debating whether or not I had been making too many female characters. And it's even between females and males, I would like to say, so we're actually pretty good there. And, but we do have an option, and I'll show you here in a minute, of uh, uh, switching sexes. Um, as you can see here in uh, the bottom left corner where I have all my items, um, you can see that the mace has an X by it. That's because I don't have the proper sets to wield it. But as you can see, I was able to effectively beat the snot out of baddies. And I have to remember which way I'm going here. Things Betwixt has a couple of areas where you can grab some stuff for use. As you can see, I just went back the wrong way. Um, and you can kill some people and get some souls. It's essentially a training level. And it's good for those of us who have maybe never played it. Bad guy! Die! Whack! Alrighty. Dead. Cute, cute. Uh, which way did I go? That way? Alright, I'm joined with my son Sean today. And no, that was the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the way I came from, isn't it? No, no, see. Alright. See down there? See that guy? He's guarding something. And back to the sex conversation, whether you want to be male or female, he's guarding a nice little doodad that can change you from male to female. Now, you should be warned, there's actually two of those giant cyclopses down there. Alright, I think this is supposed to teach me how to backstab and... Alright, and if you want to know what these things are doing, you can go over here and hit examine, and it tells you what to do. Alright, what? 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 I want to pray from it. Yeah, backstab. That's what I did, R1. Whoops, oh, I'm used to playing Mary Gear Solid. I thought it was good. Mary Gear Solid? No, no not Mary Gear Solid. We don't play better than yourself. The Raiding Guy. On this game? Nah. On PlayStation. Okay? No, no, yeah. But that's okay. The R1. Backstab. Saying critical hit, but. Backstab. Kind of is a critical hit. It is a critical hit. We'll call it a critical hit. Uh, just so you know, these are little bonfires throughout the game that you can light. I don't know why, but uh, for some reason, you have the option to light little bonfires. You don't rest at them. You don't rest at them, no. They're not resting bonfires. They're just lighting bonfires. No apparent reason. Uh, there's probably some sort of thing that you don't understand. They all give stuff. Yeah. Give flight. Oops. There you go. None shall pass. Oh, you that's me. Pass. That's me clicking. Click, 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 click. Life gems. Life gems. Alrighty. Get through the game. Yeah, that's right. Life gem is like an Estus flask. Mm -hmm. Just some horse. Yeah. Seven. Now up here, you got the little crow. Remember Snuggly? Woo! Give us a spoon! Give us you! Give us Silky! She looks bored. I'm bored. Can we get along? Can we get along with this? Alright, we're gonna kick that ladder down. That way we can come back to Snuggly without the crows or whatever they're called in this game. Because that's so the thing in the juice. Yeah. See that spot? Oh, drop down. Drop down there? Yep. And there's an item. Yay! And what's the item? Yay! Okay. Yeah, that's very important to get to. Yeah, that's how you upgrade. That one's not funny. Not a bit. 
Well, uh, then it would have had to start over. Right? Especially since I've played this game a few times. Doom! 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 Well, uh, my endurance is pretty okay. I just gotta move it. Oh, there's somebody else. See that ghost? That's somebody else playing right now. Should we try to hit him? Alright, now there's something about jumping across. Does anybody remember what was over here? Jump! Oh, I didn't jump right and I died! No! Dude, you played this game so many times and still can't do that jump. That's how bad he is. Because he's so bad. You guys, I think it's bedtime. <laughs> yeah, right. Summer vacation and it's bedtime. What? Oh, uh, I can't believe I just did that. How embarrassing. Alright. Well, now we need to go back across in the room. Because. If I remember correctly, I actually need the item. I don't know what it's called. Oh, it might be the short part. Right. Maybe, or maybe it's just some other useless one. No, there's a lot of useless stuff, but that one I can't remember. So. Maybe you're right. I'm gonna need the short part, so I'm definitely relying on the short part in this game. Yeah, oh, Amber. Oh, I'm gonna need that. That's actually as a uh, as a hexer or a mage. That's a spellcaster. You definitely need a lot of that herb. It will. It makes your spells. You will get low on spell energy. It uh, restores it. It becomes a little bit of influence. I think that was down below, right down below, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll go check it out. And there's a guy down below. Think we can drop? Oh, and it absolutely was the jumping I missed the jumping attack. I don't know. Ah, so good. I don't know, I'll let my green get back up. And four, two, three. Well, you know, I'm trying to do the two-handed sword character right now on another uh, playthrough. So. Ah, oh, there it is. You can probably also uh, juggle the other character. No. Oh, what's that? Crack red eye orb. You can use that to invade people later on. Not right now, but you'll probably die. No invading right now. Alright, so that was that doorway, right? And then that takes us up here. And then we can go to here. And again, if we had a bow, we could shoot him, but we don't have a bow, so we can't shoot him. So we have to drop down. We're going to drop down. Oh, we got to we drop down. And we're dropping. Alright. Now we're gonna go through this part here. Okay, now this area sucks if I remember correctly. You have to knock that down and get shot at the arrows. Oh look at me, ugly. Woo, I'm dead! Don't shoot me. And we have to go across. Right, because if we fall off, it's death. I don't know that many humanity, so hit, hit, and hit. <laughs> Sorry, human effigies. Now I have to be careful here because it's a hell of a drop. Oh, oh, it is. You actually lose one of the losing half your half. Oh, yeah, you got that. 
See, so you need the guy at the bottom who sits and shoots at you. So we gotta pop a life gem, right? We're gonna get tons of these life gems in the game. Eventually, you're gonna be able to buy like a hundred of them and then have a hundred in your inventory and all that. So. 99. Yeah, yeah, 99. So don't worry about it. And that's also good when they're all the upgrades. Except for weapons, they can only go up to 10. Like, they can only go up to 10. Missed it. Uh, Wait, what's your normal? Yeah, in this game, five. ten and five. That is correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't. Yeah, fifteen was in Dark Souls. Sometimes you should probably... Have I not gotten the bow yet? No! Because you went the wrong way, dude. I'm not even... Is there even a bow this way? Yes, that's where you get the first shot now. Oh. Oh, wow. And no idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's not one that would be in there. What are you talking about? I went the wrong way. Well, he's got it. He's got the... There's nowhere else to get the bow, is there? No. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Who are you talking to? There is a joke over here. That's where I got my first joke. Well, maybe the thing glitched. Maybe it's a, it a starting game. Maybe I didn't get the drop. Alright, we're gonna skip those big cyclopses. Zero. Really nice. At least at your level. I'd rather shoot him with the uh, bunch of kids. Alright, so that's going to take us into oh, the Majula. And before we get all down to the next bonfire, we're going to do a little bit of something. Yeah, we got 12 minutes, that's okay. And uh, we're trying to keep these short guys under 20 minutes, and uh, so this will just be very quick. We're going to grab that item, Divine Blessing. I think we're going to use it. Where we have it. No, that's not divine blessing. Divine blessing is a bottle of stuff that you drink. But I know what you're talking about. Divine blessing, my friends. This is divine blessing. Yeah, oh. to use that. And if you look, it says divine blessing fully restores HP and cures all status effects. No, it's not divine blessing that you use. I am positive. You guys, it's a <laughs> All right, we've got a morning star now, and we've got the cleric chime, but that's our starting stuff, so we really don't care. I'm gonna pick up the reason I came down here. Was binoculars very, 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 very important? Well, Four spellcasters. Four spellcasters. That is and correct. guys that use the crossbow. And guys who use crossbows. That's correct. But uh, I'm not a crossbow user. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that's our fire. And we're gonna go talk to this guy over here. Does he use armor? Who are you? Blah blah blah. Open this door. See the This guy's your blacksmith. Bring me that. I'm a blacksmith. Uh, yeah, Bring me that key. Right. There's a couple of others. I'm a blacksmith. Right. I'm he nothing wants his tools. to work with this one. Um, very quickly, we're going to run through and just find some items over here in the tent. There's a lovely cup. It's a life gem. We like life gems. Anytime we can get life gems, we get life gems. And then we're going to come up here. There's actually a covenant that you can join. I didn't but, join this covenant. But please don't. Join it because it's making the game harder. Yeah. This makes the game harder if you join this covenant. Don't, don't do it unless you're a super robot. That's Homeward Bone. Homeward Bone's great because it takes you back to your bonfire without uh, yeah, penalty. Yeah. 
And every once in a while, you just want to go back to your bomb. And you see that big roll over there? Please don't fall in there because you will die. You have to go later in the game to get down there and you don't actually you have to go down there. Yes, oh, you have to go yes, down there. Yes, you have to go down there. Just about ready. Don't think that. Uh, oh yes. So. so you have to yeah, and then this is a cat. It'll allow you to abandon your covenant. It'll also allow you to see what covenant you're a part of. As you can see, I have not joined the covenant, which I'm not abandon. You can buy some stuff. Uh, there's some ring of the evil eye. That's, uh, that's uh, some people like that. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. the silk. Would you like to comment? Go ahead. That's a uh, very, very useful ring because you'll have that on when you go down the well and stuff. Because otherwise, you will die. And my dad is dying over there because he can't freaking get it. Yeah. Because you take too long to explain. It prevents it prevents fall damage. Red eye ring. Not at all. It means that enemies can find you quicker. Name engraved ring. This is actually pretty cool. You can choose a god that you're aligned to, and if you do that, and other people have this ring on, then it's kind of like the Sunbro ring. You guys find each other, and you can play with each other. Uh, Sunbro ring? You know what the Sunbros are, don't you? No, I don't know what the Sunbro is. Outsider! So what's a Sunbro, Sean? It is the Solaris Covenant, and everybody Nothing calls it to do, Sunbro, I presume. and the Sunbro Covenant allows you to basically summon guys even though you're the boss. That's the ultimate PvE. Yeah. PvE is uh, normal, like... Player versus environment? Player versus enemy? Player versus what? Player versus something. But it basically allows you, even though you're beating the boss, it allows you to summon other guys just to help you get through the level, get all the pickups and stuff. And, well, um, I, I, what did... it also, that's it, and it, yellow, you know, you come up yellow in the sunbow thing, and you might, and there, you can come up. We'll get to the Sun Bros later on, but Sun Bros is a good covenant if you want to help people out and if you want to do a lot of multi online play. And PvP is player to player, and then it's you using yeah. other players. Right. So, we're going to establish that. Uh, there's an item over here that we need to pick up. Yeah. I always forget about this. Very, very hard. Why is it hard to find this? Like two points, and then we can go over here and we can light this bonfire. This is the main bonfire. For those of you that guys but for those of you that play Demon Souls, this is kinda like the Nexus. Dark Souls? Dark Souls basically I'm trying. That's right. Alright, then the green chick's standing over here, which is gonna go jump in the water. We're gonna try to go through this quickly. Oh yeah, there's more bearer of the cup. I will remain by your take this with you. Oh, we got Nestus Fox. Good. He who made the king Vendry. Bearer of the curse. For misery will never. Should I put a bearer? Seek their soul once you have found so that hope will be. Okay, so. There we go. We can attune spells here. And we can burn items and we can And you start with the okay. item box in this action. Yeah. So you don't actually you don't have to go all the others. So you don't have to get on this box and all that just and upgrade that modifier. This actually makes you go to the And you can travel to different areas. Alrighty. That is your short introduction today. We'd like to thank you for listening and uh, you can check this out later on our YouTube channel or on the